Would you please tell us your name? My name is Jill Gay Steinball Moser. Okay. And what have you brought to the harvest today? I brought some pictures of my grandparents. Okay. Uh, about how old are the photographs? Uh, some of them are uh, maybe close to 100 years old, and well, a couple of them, and uh, some of them are maybe 50 years old. <laughs> So why did you decide to bring these items to the harvest today? Well, because I had a story to tell about my grandfather. He, he was a character. <laughs> so he, he, actually, he lived to be 100 years old. Wow. I'm going to, too. <laughs> yes. Today's my birthday. <gasps> oh my God. Yes. No way! Yes. Happy birthday! Yes. Thank you. <laughs> That's so nice. I'm 69. Wow. Yeah. So I only have 31 more years to go. <laughs> <laughs> but he made a big mistake though. He, he always said, I want to live to be 100. And he, um, his birthday was in March and he passed away in July. So, and I, so I'm thinking, you don't want to do that. Don't ever say, I only want to live to be X years say, I think I want to live to be 120. <laughs> <laughs> so, and who knows, you might be able to. Yeah. That might be the, the norm when you get older. As long as you keep exercising, uh, eating a lot of junk. <laughs> so. so, how does this connect to Milton history? Like, is there any. Well, Okay, this is the story. He he was born in Potts Grove, and uh, he I I'm thinking I'm not a hundred percent clear on all the minute details, but I think he said because he told me this story, and he said that he had um, that he worked at a garage out there, and so this was. He didn't get married till 1916, so this would have had to be before, and it was, I'm not sure what kind of a, maybe it was even a blacksmith shop or something, but anyhow, he, he worked there, and he would get paid, and he had a quarter, and so he would take, on Saturday night, he'd take this quarter, and get in his horse and buggy, and he'd come to Milton, and we had a theater here called the Legionnaire and it played silent movies. So he would go to the Legionnaire and for a dime he got into the movies. And for a nickel he got a bag of roasted peanuts. I think he might have bought those out on the street somewhere and took them into the theater. But you can't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but anyhow, so he would go in eat his peanuts, watch the movie, and then afterwards he'd go to the ice cream shop and he'd get a sundae for the other dime. And then he'd go home. And this one night he was going home and this guy came up beside him in his horse and buggy and Pappy, I don't think he really liked him all that well, this guy, but he, uh, they started racing. And they're going down the road racing, and Pappy got a little bit ahead of his horse, and he stuck his buggy whip out in front of the horse's nose, and the horse wouldn't go past the buggy whip. So Pappy rode all the way home, and he won. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy never saw it because it was dark. There was no street lights, and and from Milton, Milton to Pottsgrove is about four miles. There's no light. <laughs> So that was cool. That was a good story that he told me. And I thought it would be interesting to harvest yeah. for the bicentennial <laughs> since, he, since he was 100 when he passed away. Yeah. So what do you expect for folks unfamiliar with Milton to gain from learning like the history? Ah, oh, folks that aren't familiar. That it is a, uh, this old, it's an old town and there's generations of people that uh, 
lived in Milton and stayed in Milton. Now I went away for about 16 years and then came back. But uh, yeah, a lot, lot of people are here from a lot of different generations.